like third degree burns all over my body. I don't think it's third, but I got an insane, insane, insane sunburn, guys. I have gotten an insane sunburn. Literally, I had to get prescribed a certain cream. I have not been able to move. I have no nails on my hands. I mean, yeah, on my hands. Um, I have press-ons for the sake of the live because I will be going tomorrow to the nail salon But I have not been able to leave my home the past three four days now. I've been in crazy excruciating pain um, I've had sun poisoning. I just got my time of the month if you know, you know So I've been eating up a storm. I'm bloated in my face bloated in my tummy I have the worst headache just symptoms of like period symptoms right now. So but my son my sunburn is under my face um, is actually really, really, really bad, but you guys can't see that because I attempted to scrape off all the dry skin and um, have my raw skin um, out so I can attempt to make, uh, and we're here now. So, um, but yes, it has resulted in my body also swelling um, due to the water retention and how uh, dry my skin is and how irritated my skin is. So that's that you guys know i'm always getting sick or i'm always going through some bullshit but it's a part of the process i'm not complaining it could always be worse and i know god is just doing this to me to prepare me for my best so i'm fine with it but anyways who's in the building i saw genevieve gina jessica big daddy melissa hello everybody samantha how did this happen well i went to the bahamas on a last minute trip with my friends uh, hiv what even really, uh, I'm not even gonna act like I'm uneducated. Anyways, um, but I went to the Bahamas and I didn't use sunscreen and I laid out in the sun for about six hours in the sun straight laying down. Um, and yeah, so a couple hours later I was super red and then the day after my eyes were completely swollen shot. Um, I don't even waste your time responding to stupidity. People who have no money, no life, no friends, and no family. Do not bother responding to stupidity because we're not stupid. Okay? We're not stupid. So please, me. I do not want you to think that you are my bitch because you are not. And I don't want any of my supporters to ever think they have to do anything for me because you guys do not. Do not. Now, if any of my mods respond to comments for me, like questions and stuff, you guys don't understand how much that fucking up. Uh, because if someone asks a question and you guys know the but I'm back guys and I just want to fucking say before you guys leave So please stay here to all my girls my guys I've fucking missed you um, I have definitely taken some time off you guys know this but This I believe is the longest that I've actually taken at least it feels like it um, Off of live without even getting on for at least like an hour or a few minutes or something. So um, I just want to let you guys know I've missed you so much and no, I'm not living my life uh, When I'm not on live as much as you guys may think I am but sometimes I am and I'm, I'm not ashamed of that at all um, I am beyond blessed to have recently been have gotten closer to a group of girls that I've been friends with for some time now But we've just gotten so much closer recently and it's just been so amazing and so much fun um, and you know I've been enjoying it and I've been working a lot behind the scenes on so much stuff for you guys But also I didn't do too much this summer So when I heard we're going to the islands, baby, I jumped on that boat and I was out So we went and it was a great time super quick trip Um, and yeah, but something about me you guys know I get overstimulated super super fast and it's really 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 hard Um for me to kind of do two things at once. I can do ten things at once, but it's the fact that I try to make it perfect, that it's not going to work that way. I'm not an octopus with multiple hands, and nothing is perfect. So, Tori, what the fuck do you think? Um, but, yeah, with that being said, it's hard for me to, you know, go on vacation and then go live and then all that stuff and then have people around me. It's such a distraction. Um, and I've realized how much it's, it's a distraction. But I have moments, and I feel like I'm finally getting them. You guys know, especially a lot of the girls and guys in here, I'm sure you guys have struggled with feeling lonely or not having all these friends or, you know, being the most popular but hated girl in the school or the city literally brings you so many friends, but not so many friends. And I feel like for the first time in a long time, I feel so like I feel like cared for by friends, you know, and I love it. And it's such an amazing feeling. And 
I'm, you know, I want to go out and have fun, and I do know how much of a distraction it is, and right now, in this time of my life, I cannot be distracted, but I am 21, and I am young, and I have spent so much time inside, and so much time outside as well, but right now, I'm really focused on doing anything that genuinely I want to do, uh, not just to do because, like, a lot of the times I do things because, like, I used to go out with whomever or wherever just because it wasn't like i don't know how to explain it to you guys really but like i feel like i would go out and i would just not really like i'd just be there like you know like everybody give me attention and shit but it wasn't even like that like it was just like it's about having genuine fun moments and shit like that you know and I feel like I would always, like, be going out with certain people. And I wouldn't actually have, like, fun. And, like, I wouldn't actually enjoy it. And I wasn't around people I, that actually cared for me. And, like, shit like that, you know? So, yeah, life is good. I'm happy. Um, I have some great things on the way. And I just hope things could just get better from here. I just feel like it's getting better from here. And I just feel like all these little negative things, like me having the sunburn that's fucking taken me out the past week. Um, and stuff like that. Little shit like that is just, just stupid stuff. And honestly, it's my fault, you know? So, it is what it is. And it's just going to prepare me for the best. So, if you're feeling like, okay? But I've missed you guys so, so, so much. And I thank you for still being here. Say hello in the chat. Who is in the building, guys? Who is in here? I miss you guys so fucking much. What the fuck? Like, I know you guys really may not think that like i give a fuck but i do you guys are literally my everything and my only thing so please don't forget that and please don't fucking leave me hershey gia my skin yeah <laughs> no never millionaire never my makeup looks gross my face is swollen i know my ears are pale i didn't even put earrings on i do not care okay i don't fucking care I don't. I am in pain. I literally have no nails. My I cannot bother to do my hair. I cannot bother to care about my makeup, even though the skin is fucking glowing because it's raw skin that my makeup is on right now. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm okay. Uh, I feel like, you know, you guys know I was dealing with this crazy skin condition. Not this, but something else in December that took me out for a couple weeks on live. I've been getting sick every so often. I struggle with crazy tension headaches. My hormones are so in and out. So I have really, when I do get my time of my month, it really hurts my stomach. Um, um, as well because of it. Um, um, to the bottom of my feet. So, but... No sympathy for me. Double tap the screen. I fucking miss you. Ash. Thanks, guys. Um, have it, did any of you guys see my Instagram stories? I finally posted in real time for once. I have so much stuff to post throughout the past, like, seven months. Because you guys know I don't post at all anymore on my Instagram. I just go out and live my life. I do not care about posting what I buy, where I go, who I'm with. I don't give a fuck to do that anymore. I think it's just when you, like...